All right, guys, so it's time for another glue video. I'm sure most of you have, have missed my glue videos. What we're gonna be doing today, as you saw in the title, is we're going to be seeing if glue dries in a vacuum chamber. And the very small chance that you don't know what a vacuum chamber is, this is basically it. It's basically just like a giant cooking pot with a rubber seal on top. You have a lid, just a thick plexiglass lid with a couple valves and a gauge. A vacuum pump and then you just turn the vacuum pump on and it'll pull this whole chamber into a vacuum and that's the vacuum chamber very simple so before we get started I just want to say that I know that some of you guys are going to complain that this video wasn't thorough enough before you write that big long paragraph telling me everything I did wrong I just want you to remember that I'm just a regular guy in my garage and we're just here to have fun <laughs> I'm gonna be as scientific as possible just take a chill pill Relax, we're just here to have some fun. So let's get started. So the way that we're going to be testing these is the same way that I've tested everything else. Wood blocks, one square inch wood blocks, and I have five different types of glues. Flex glue, Gorilla wood glue, JB Weld, E6000, and liquid nails. So what we're gonna do is I have 20 of these wood blocks. So I'm gonna have 10 sets of these wood blocks inside of the vacuum chamber and then 10 sets of these blocks outside of the vacuum chamber. And then of course I'll put glue on each one, put them on the vacuum chamber. I'll leave them in the vacuum chamber for 24 hours, maybe a little bit longer. I might go 48, just depending. I'll pull them out and then we'll hook them up to the crane scale and we'll test them. We'll compare them and see if they dried. All right guys, we got the glue on all of our blocks. I have the glue obviously on these blocks that are gonna go inside the vacuum chamber. And then I have the glue, I already put the glue on the other blocks that are gonna be sitting off to the side. So we're gonna get these inside the vacuum chamber. Just like this. And then I squirted out two blobs of glue, one of the E6000 and then one of the flex glue, pretty much just for fun. I don't know that these are gonna do anything, but they're just for fun. So we'll put these in here, and then we will put our lid on here. Then we're gonna kick on our vacuum pump, and it'll probably take a minute, two minutes or so to pull it into a vacuum. Gonna be about all the vacuum we're gonna get out of that. We're at about minus 27 psi, so that's probably about max vacuum. So let me pull you guys in close so you can you can see what's going on in here. So you can see right there that is the JB weld. You can see how it's kind of bubbled up, and then you can see right there that one is the I think that's the Gorilla wood glue, and then that is the E6000. So you can see how they're kind of bubbling up, and then 
That one is the flex glue, which doesn't seem like anything has happened to it. The liquid nails, nothing, nothing looks like it's happened to it. The flex glue looks completely fine. Then right there you can see the E6000, how it has all the bubbles in it. I think we kind of already have our answer, but we'll see. All right guys, so as you just saw, I think we kind of have our answer for some of these, the ones like the JB Weld and the Gorilla Wood Glue that are kind of like bubbling up like and like the E6000. Those obviously I think are probably going to be kind of, are going to be weaker than the ones that are just sitting out here in normal atmospheric pressure and not in a vacuum. The Flex Glue and the Liquid Nails both seem to be completely unfazed, so I'm going to be really, I'm really interested to see how those are going to react. I don't know if those are going to dry or what they're going to do. We're going to leave this here for about 24, 48 hours, somewhere in that time frame. Then we'll come back and test it. All right, guys, it has been 24 hours that our blocks have been inside of the vacuum chamber. So these have been in here for 24 hours. And then the ones that were off to the side have been here for 24 hours. The only problem that we're going to have is, as you can see, like this one, that is the JB welded one. I guess with the way I sat it down on the desk, over here, I guess it just kind of like slid off to the side. And the one that's inside of the vacuum chamber has kind of moved around, so these results are going to be a little bit skewed, but luckily we have four more things to test, so it won't be too bad. So let's let some air back in this chamber. I'm going to try to do this kind of slow. Oh. Go on. Let's see. Oh, wow. <coughs> it really stinks in there. It's just, I mean, obviously it smells like a bunch of glue. So let's check these out, these ones with the cardboard. Let's check these out first. Oh, let's just take it off the cardboard. All right. So it... Like it's dry completely. It doesn't seem like the vacuum chamber really had any effect on it. I was thinking that maybe it wouldn't dry, but it definitely seems like it's dried like normal and it doesn't seem to have suffered at all. So the E6000, you can see how it's really like aerated and bubbly. So I think, yeah, if you kind of, it's kind of formed like an air pocket inside of here. So, and you can see on the blocks, I think it was this one, yeah. You can see on the blocks that, well, and you saw before that it, that the glue like aerated itself or something. So, I don't know. So let's get the weight set up. Let's start testing these blocks. All right, guys. So I have my crane scale here, which obviously is going to tell us how much weight each block holds before it breaks. And down below, I have just a little bit over 300 pounds of weight. So... What we're gonna do, we're gonna do the JB Weld blocks first, just to kind of get them out of the way, because as I showed you before, they kind of slid to the side, so it's not really gonna be like a super accurate test. So we're gonna do it first, get it out of the way. And these are the ones that were not in the vacuum chamber. Hook them up here. Let's see how much they hold. These are probably going to hold the whole weight. All right, I grabbed a little piece of PVC pipe just to kind of help me grab a hold of the rope a little bit better. Oh, wow. I think it really is going to pick up all the weight. Come on. What is that, 350 pounds? 352 pounds? Obviously, the blocks with JB Weld that were not in the vacuum chamber are extremely strong. 352 pounds. All right, so these are the JB Weld blocks that were in the vacuum chamber. So we'll see how they do. All right, 113 pounds. So that's uh, roughly, roughly a third of what the JB Weld blocks held with that were outside of the vacuum chamber. And the, these ones that were in the vacuum chamber were also more even. And the other ones, as you can see, 
were the ones that had slid off to the side. So being in the vacuum chamber definitely did not help the JB Weld. All right, up next is gonna be the liquid nails that was outside of the vacuum chamber. Get a piece of PVC pipe. Jeez. Alright, that's all for you. Well, that time it only registered 348 pounds. And now for the liquid nails that was inside of the vacuum chamber. See how this one does. Wow, 80 pounds. So, so far it seems like the vacuum chamber is keeping the glue from curing. All right, let's go ahead and do everybody's favorite, flex glue. This is the flex glue that was not in the vacuum chamber. That was only 218 pounds. That's actually a lot less than I expected. All right, now this is the flex glue that was in the vacuum chamber. Oh, wow. 54 pounds. That's actually very surprising considering that the flex glue that I had put on the cardboard didn't feel, didn't feel weak, didn't feel any different than it did uh, than it would have if I just left it outside in the air. Next up is the Gorilla wood glue that was not in the vacuum chamber, which if, the, if history repeats itself, I fully expect this to pick up the full 352 pounds. We just lost 40 pounds. All right, so, what is that, 228? I guess we didn't get it off all, all the way off the ground. There we go, how much is that? 306 pounds. All right, now let's see what happens with the Gorilla Glue that was in the vacuum chamber. All right, Gorilla Wood Glue that was in the vacuum chamber, I'm going to take a guess and guess 77 pounds. Let's see. Oh, no way. No way. 77 pounds exactly. That, that's really, that, that, that's crazy. And that wasn't even staged. That was just a lucky guess. All right, our fifth and final one, E6000 that was not in the vacuum chamber. <laughs> that, that was very, very pathetic. Wow, 23 pounds, and that wasn't in the vacuum chamber. So, since I got the last one right, I'm gonna say in the vacuum chamber, I'm gonna say six pounds. All right, our last one, E6000, that was in the vacuum chamber. Let's see if it's six pounds. Really? So, E6000 
thousand that that was in the vacuum chamber, it pretty much tripled the strength. Huh. All right. So what have we learned? Well, we started this video with one simple question: Does glue dry? in a vacuum chamber? That was the question. And the answer, yes. Glue does dry in the vacuum chamber because all of the glue was dry. But depending on the glue, and I only have to say that because of the E6000, depending on the glue, it will severely weaken or apparently with E6000, triple the strength of the glue. I don't know how to take that. That was very, definitely not what I expected to happen. Personally, what I thought, I thought that maybe about half of them would make a difference and I thought maybe the other half would just pretty much be normal or very close to normal. I definitely didn't think any of them would strengthen. I thought all of them would kind of be just a little bit lower, maybe 20% lower or something, especially the ones like the flex glue that that I put on the cardboard that didn't seem to be affected at all by the vacuum chamber, but I guess in reality it was. So very interesting results. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.